This is the 15th video of War Plans, War in the Pacific. I am playing the uh, British and Americans, and the game's artificial intelligence is playing the Japanese. Um, with that said, let us begin. Okay, and we'll load in the game. All right, it's generating, and here we go. Okay, I'm going to start out with my favorite thing, which is a rant about what happened and what's wrong with this game. And... This weekend, I'll have to write another uh, note to uh, the developer, Sousa, which I've talked to before about these serious imperfections in the game, but I guess he just doesn't get it or doesn't want to acknowledge it. But I'm going to talk about those a little here because... I think the game is is just brilliant in a lot of respects, but in some respects, which I'm going to discuss now, it's terrible. It really, really sucks, and because of it, it's almost not worth playing. As much as I like it, it's, when you come down to it, there's too many super important things that it's just not a question of not working. They stink. I mean, it's a bad development. And, you know, War in the Pacific is a game of carrier operations and, and amphibious operations against islands. Those are two main pillars of the game. If those don't work, the game doesn't work. And in this game, they don't work. Everything else works really well. But the two main things in the Pacific War do not work. And why that should be, I don't know. It's, I know he's a one-man show, and that's a danger, because if you have a lack of insight on things, there's nobody to tell you, hey, this is stupid, this doesn't work. You know, and I've worked for people like that before. They're they're like, they have this idea of what they want to do, and they don't book any um, any disagreement with it, and they can't understand or refuse to understand what the problem is, and so they they literally can't address it. And I have a feeling this is exactly what Mr. Seuss's problem is, because I laid out historical. Uh, support and I told him what was wrong and I told him the solution but when he responded he didn't acknowledge anything it's like oh well what you say is he said about some technical aspect what you said is true like uh, I said well you can't withdraw uh, a assaulting marine division from the uh, invasion like you can't get them off the beaches. And he said, oh, yeah, that's true. But he refused to acknowledge anything else. So so let's let's talk about for a couple minutes the um, the uh, what I'm what I'm uh, ranting about here. The first thing is. The carrier battles are badly done, really stinko. What happens is, you know, in the real carrier battles throughout the entire Pacific, what happened was they tried to identify the carriers. For both sides, that was target number one, identify the carriers. And only if there were no carriers around or the carriers were clearly sinking did they look at targeting another target. Okay, so when when you're attacking, your first target is carriers. And if they're there, 
that's what you attack. You don't attack battleships. You don't attack uh, destroyers. You don't attack torpedo boats, for Christ's sake. When there's a carrier, when the carriers are, you attack the carriers. And you should be shot if that's not what you do. But that was what was done, except in one circumstance. And leave it to the stupid Americans to screw everything up. Because at the Battle, I think the Battle of Coral Sea, the Americans mistook um, an oiler. Or was it the Japanese? No, it was the Japanese mistook an oiler. I think it was the Neosho for a carrier. And they attacked it. <laughs> now an oiler... Well, I mean, you know, it's huge. It's got pretty much a flat top. Uh, and I guess if you've never seen a carrier, you might think, oh, that, that might be a carrier. Aircraft might take off on it. Well, it was an oiler. And so they attacked it. But that's the only instance I've ever read where they didn't go after the carriers. In this case, they went after the what they thought was a carrier, but it wasn't. So anyway, in the game, what happens is, I don't know how his screwy algorithm works, but the main target is not necessarily carriers. Because if you look at, like, the carrier battles in this game, you know, you're, you're sinking um, battleships, you're sinking cruisers, you're sinking destroyers. You've got carriers that have not been attacked and you're, you're deciding to go for a destroyer, which is moronic. Now, in this last invasion of truck, the Japanese put patrolled torpedo boats out there and in the carrier battle, that's what I was sinking. So <laughs> I was sinking a torpedo boat. I guess it looks like a carrier, right? Jesus Christ. Uh, and that's what uh, my pilots were targeting. They said, oh, forget about those carriers. The torpedo boats are much more uh, dangerous and important. And so we will ignore the carriers and go for the torpedo boats. And, and they can't say, like at Coral Sea, that the torpedo boat looks like a carrier. You know, there it was, you know, like the oiler. Oh, that looks like a carrier. Uh, retard. Uh, but a, a PT boat doesn't look like a carrier. <laughs> so so anyway, what, what the hell? Why would you attack it? It's stupid. But see, it's a, it's a tactic now that AI used because he put those in with his fleet and the way the algorithm uh, works... Um, I'm forced to attack them. And that's what happened, which is nonsensical. I mean, why even have a carrier battle if, it, if it's going to wind up like that, where all of the ships you sink are going to be uh, PT boats and then the uh, uh, Japanese carriers, uh, they're all right. You know, they didn't get sunk. Christ almighty. Who can play a game like that? No serious historical war gamer, I'll tell you. It's only like Dungeon and Dragons or some other uh, uh, tutti fruity games, uh, and, and that's what this is relegated to. Uh, it's not a serious war game with that included. I mean, okay, so that's one aspect: the carrier battles, which are the main uh, thing about uh, war in the Pacific are ludicrous. I mean, it's just ridiculous. Um, the other thing is the, the island invasions are beyond stupid. So I invade with a marine division and it's still treating it as a division. I set it, I set its combat value to triple in the editor, because you can do that, but it doesn't, apparently it doesn't affect anything, because it was still assaulting it as a division. Um, so anyway, you're, you're only allowed one unit. 
Now, when the Americans um, attacked Iwo Jima, they had the, a Marine Corps of three divisions. In this game, all you can do is attack with one division. And historically, in no battle did the, in no island battle, did the Japanese defend with more than one division. At Iwo Jima, they only had one division. In this game, you can put a Japanese corps on the island, which is three divisions. So you have a Japanese corps of three divisions, and you only have one division, American division attacking. What do you think happens? Why, golly gee, the Americans cannot be victorious. It's impossible because the odds are three to one against them. It's a one to three attack. Anybody that knows wargaming, can you win in a one to three attack? Uh, gee, I don't think so. Uh, so that's one aspect of the invasions that are totally ridiculous nonsensical. The second is, once you commit a unit to invade, you cannot withdraw it. So let's say the invasion goes bad, and uh, normally you would withdraw the unit, or like the Americans actually did, they'd hold the division on the ships, and if the, the invasion wasn't going well, then that division would reinforce the uh, the one on the beaches. Well, you can, it's impossible to do that in this game. You can only have one division in the invasion hex. And you can't reinforce it, and you can't withdraw it. So by not withdrawing it, when you get to the point, which I did, where the odds are one to two, and you can no longer attack... Um, you can't withdraw it, and so it sits there in the invasion hex, and you cannot use that invasion hex because one division is in it, and you can't withdraw it. So I tried to do kamikaze attacks to eliminate it, as stupid as that is. It's like a Dungeons and Dragons game now, and I, I wasn't able to do that because I ran out of... Uh, uh, Oh, geez, what do they call it? Operational points. So I don't know if that would work, but maybe not. But as long as that division is in the invasion hex, the Japanese are totally protected because the invasion hex is locked up. And so that unit has to be eliminated in order for the Americans to try another invasion. And if I were the Japanese, I would supply that unit. <laughs> you want them there the whole game because you have 100% protection against an invasion. Just have an American division there and feed them rice all day and they can't invade for the rest of the game. Jesus, how dumb is that? Real dumb. The second thing is... Uh, Mr. Sousa doesn't understand anything about how invasions are were conducted. Zero. Zero. Now, what happened is when I invaded Truck, he happened to have a torpedo boat inside the harbor. Well, to an invasion, that wouldn't matter because although there's a harbor there, you are not invading the harbor. Invasions were conducted against beaches, which were not in harbors. Okay? So it didn't matter if there was a torpedo boat in the harbor. You're, you're assaulting a beach, which is not in the harbor. Okay, for one. Now the second point is, it was in the harbor... And you could not invade until it was destroyed. Okay, so I had 14 carriers there. 14, mind you. Like we're talking Philippine Sea or, you know, uh, invasion of the Philippines, that kind of thing. And he had one 
torpedo unit in there with torpedo boats in a harbor. Okay, they're real hard to miss. You know, they're in a harbor, uh, either at, at a dock or they're, they're floating in the middle of the harbor. And 14 carriers could not take it out on a strike. Uh, I mean, Jesus, age Christ, uh, what kind of a game is this? And, and so I had to have the next turn another strike, and I finally took it out, and then I could invade. You know, how moronic is that? You're, you're not invading the port or the... That's not where the invasion is occurring. occurring. And then, why is it so hard to take out torpedo boats? I know there's more than one, but Jesus, with the carriers, I had 14 of them. Why is it so hard to take torpedo boats out in a harbor? They should be like uh, sitting ducks, fish in a barrel. That's what they are. A plane would go over there. You see the torpedo boat, one bomb, or strafe it even, and poof, it's gone. And you're talking about 14 carriers. There wouldn't be anything left. So, I mean, the invasions are worse than ridiculous. Now, what does it take to, to fix this stuff is? Up. And I think Sousa could do it, but I guess he doesn't want to. Maybe his pride would be injured and that he doesn't know anything about these two areas. Um, ship fighting or aircraft carrier operations or invasions. He knows nothing. Otherwise, he would, wouldn't have developed it like this. And since he's a one-man show, I guess he didn't beta test this. Because if you had a serious historical-minded person play this, that's the first thing he would notice. Now, I guess a lot of yo-yos must play this game because they thought it was just fine. And they're stupid and ignorant, both. And so if that's what he's listening to, like, oh, people are licking my ass, I must be a genius. No, that ain't right. What happens is they're stupid, and I don't know why they're playing games like this because they should just have, like... Uh, powder puff games or something with a dragon and other sh dumb shit. Uh, so they, they don't obviously understand anything, and he never beta tested it because, like I said, these are, right away, it just pops out. As soon as you try an invasion, it's like stupid. So what, what does he need to fix it up? Okay, well, on the carrier battles, you need to have the algori algorithm. If there's carriers there, that's the target. Now, you could say, okay, maybe one's behind a squall, like I think happened at Coral Sea, and you can't see it, so then you're, if there's a, a heavy cruiser that, like the Japanese ones, look like a battleship, okay, then they're going to go to a secondary target, because otherwise they just drop the bombs on the way home. They can't land with bombs on a carrier or blow the hell out of it if there's an accident. So in that case, but that's very rare. That only happened, I think, one time that I ever read, and it was at Coral Sea. So, uh, so you know, it'd have to prioritize carriers is first, and then if they can't see a carrier, it's a big ship, which would be a heavy cruiser or a battleship. Then the third would be a, a light cruiser. And they realistically aren't even going to try for destroyers. I don't, I don't know if, well, I think the Japanese kamikazes did. But, I mean, realistically, those destroyers are way too maneuverable. And, uh, you know, if you've ever played any uh, with uh, uh, naval models, uh, <laughs> you're never going to hit those suckers. They can turn... A tight circle, they can zigzag, they can weave in and out. You're, you're never going to hit them. Um, and if you didn't do that, you, you have a pop-up menu when you designate a carrier strike, and it gives you the targets, and you specify the targets you want. And I mean, some of these y y dummies may want to go after torpedo boats. Well, 
the dumbasses, give them the option. And they can have a list of all the ship types, and they can say, I want to go after torpedo boats. <clears throat> I don't want to say any more against people like that. Um, and so that would fix up carrier combat. That's what you need to fix it. Now, to fix amphibious invasions, you got to handle them a little differently than land in land operations you just do because they're they're a lot different first of all the americans have to be able to invade with an uh with a marine corps three marine divisions second the japanese can defend an island with no more than a division on an island a division max okay when um you invade, you should be able to bring the invading force off. You know, you're going to need, I'm trying to think what you'd need from the beaches. I guess uh, probably uh, landing ships you'd have to use to bring them off. And then you should be able to bring a fresh unit on because just like at Iwo Jima, the Americans had a division on board ships in reserve, just waiting to see what would happen. So you've got to have that capability. So you've got to be able to take a division off or a core off, whatever invades, whenever you think it should be taken off, like it gets beat to shit. Or else you can leave it there, but you've got to bring a reinforcement on to continue the battle. Now, whenever the American, uh, it, it's important to keep in mind, whenever the Mer Americans invaded a Japanese-held island, they always won. They always won. It was just a question of how many casualties the Japanese would inflict. And at Iwo Jima, it was probably the highest number of casualties and I think it was almost one for one. So for the 20,000 Japanese that were there, they inflicted 20,000 casualties. That's killed, wounded, missing. And 30,000 Americans invaded altogether. But, you know, okay, the Americans are going to take heavy casualties. And that's the only question. And they, I think the game's set up that way. So, I mean, that would work. So that's all you have to do to fix this game up, and it would be a fantastic game. But if you don't do that, it's kind of like a piece of shit because although a lot of things in the game are great, the two main char characteristics of War in the Pacific were carrier battles and amphibious operations, and they are like F minus. So you got A for everything else, and you get F minus. It's like you wind up with a probably a less than mediocre game, and a terrible wargaming experience. If you're a serious wargamer, this is just tutti frutti, you know. Now I think I'm going to go on with it a, a bit longer to see. Uh, what happens here but uh it's just a severe disappointment and I, i'm i'm gonna make time to to write mr sousa a long note i belong to what is it steam that's where i i get this game from so you can write comments about the game and the last one he answered me and so I'm, I'm going to write some more. But anyway, that's my rant. And yeah, it took a while, but uh, that's what I think. And if you're going to buy this game, I would seriously think about it. If you're serious, if you're just a fruitcake, well, go ahead and buy it. It's as good as any other game. So anyway, let's continue on, see what we can retrieve here, if anything. Personally, I don't think it's going to be much. So... 
let's look at these little boxes here and see what's going on. Okay, a lot of partisan activity that's been tried and none of it's been successful. Uh, yeah, my task forces. Jesus Christ, the effectiveness is down to the high 50s, low 60s. Okay. Well, that's going to be the case on all of them. UK has low manpower. Well, there's nothing I can do about that. It is what it is. Canada is low manufacturing. All right. So... We've got nothing to get out of the U.S., so we might as well go to China. Take care of that. China's actually doing very well in this game because the Japanese pulled out all their units to occupy all the islands and everything, and they didn't leave enough in China to have a viable campaign, which is okay with me, so let's just look at everything here. I don't like this guy being out here, actually. So I think I'm, he's on a one, so I'm going to move him back. All these guys are good. All right, now we finally got something going here. Well, we've got a railroad down to here. Singapore we've got another that's another thing here these Japanese garrisons are way way too strong they're like two for attack and six for defense the Japanese yeah in in a lot of ways they took a lot of casualties later in the war against the Americans. Early on, they did not, just because they had their defenses on the beaches and they did all these stupid bonsai attacks. But, well, in jungles or in caves, the Japanese were pretty tough. But in, you know, other terrain, they were garbage because they had no armor. Their artillery wasn't that great. Uh, they usually didn't have that many heavy weapons. Now, in a case like this, this guy's going to be probably pretty tough. And he's defending a city. Now, when the Japs defended Manila, and that was the only city I can recall they defended with 20,000 Marines, I don't recall I've got to read about this but I don't think they they took that many American casualties because the Japanese army retreated from Manila and I think the Marines stayed and fought and the city was destroyed and yeah the Americans took some casualties but I don't think that they took 20,000 casualties like at Iwo one for one I think it was a lot less but I don't know they just seem really strong they should be the normal strength of the Japanese unit, not like triple on defense. So I don't know. So okay, be that as it may, we'll go to the side here. Now see, 3-7, that's a really friggin' strong unit. We'll take the big boys off to the side guys will continue down. Well, oh, look at this guy. He says zero. Ten to one. All right. We rubbed him out. Do 
comes a big boy. We'll just get them all lined up here like a train. All right. Now let's take the supply off and let's go down to see if we have. Oh shoot, I always do that. Oh, we don't have another infantry corps. So we don't have to worry about that. Okay, now we're going. Now we really gave the what was left of the Japanese fleet of going over. Ah, so it took shelter in the port. Okay, now how do we set our air units to go in there? We've got factories, airfields, ground, and naval. I guess ground. So we'll do ground attacks there. Or wait, it'd be Navy, so we're attacking the Navy. Yeah, what am I thinking of? Okay, I wasted one strike, but let's see what happened. Should be like shooting fish in a barrel. Oh, Karishima took a hit. Okay, we'll start really working them over now. These guys, they attacked, okay. These guys are set for naval. Whoa! Looks like we got, might have got some heavy damage here. Again. I'm getting damaged too because of the flak. All right, let's see what happened. Oh, 10th Army got a shitload of losses. So did 17th Army sunk. Oh, was he carrying that? I guess so, it must have been in transports. Okay. See, going in a port isn't such a good idea. It's like, I don't know why with 14 carriers I couldn't kill those torpedo boats because here I'm shooting these guys like fish in a barrel. No losses on that one. 34th Army took three hits. Okay, so it's slow, steady progress. This guy looks like we got something here. All right. Kurishima is sunk. Yokohama Home Force is sunk. Yeah, those are friggin' torpedo boats. Looks like I might not, not have got anything there. Oh, he's got torpedo boats and he has the 10th and 34th Army. Okay. Didn't get any losses against him. I attack with that guy. 
Got one more guy to attack with. Whoop. That looks like I got something. And yeah. Okay, we got a hit on the torpedo boats and the third army. Okay, that's all I can do. How's our subs look? We're down to 64%. That isn't real great. What about the ones in Nomia? Whoa, we're at 100%. Okay, so we will take these subs, put them back in port, and then we'll grab the Grayling, Bullhead, and Cerro. They're 100%. Well, let's think about this. Let's go up to truck now. Maybe we should put them up there. I don't know if if I'm even going to bother with these islands anymore. Well, these ships have to go back. Now what? I didn't move these. Subs at 62%. That's not too good. I'm going to send him back. Uh, then, you need to send one out. You're supposed to be able to blockade an island with one. It's okay. Ah, oh, shit. That's right. Got to get these shit out. Right, let's put it there. Now, what's the problem with these guys moving? Oh, maybe I did. I attacked with them last time. Okay, this Marine has no operational points, okay. All right, let's build, Jesus. Gotta wait another turn to see how this turns out, I guess. Oh, U.S. is 821. Well, I'm gonna build one more strategic group. And I'll build the large infantry corps. Three forty eight uh, Soviets. Thing that's gonna keep me going here is the island campaign is gonna be worthless. But guess what? I hold the Japanese fleet is toast. And we'll look at the stats now. 468, he's got a ways to go. And I hold the Philippines. So guess where we're going then? We'll, we'll base our operations out of there. Forget about the friggin' islands. Okay, none of these guys. So, what are these? The commies? They might be able to build an army. Nope, they need 216. All right. Let's see what we get. A commando is ready. Who the hell wanted that? I never built that for the stupid British. They're running out of men. Now they have a commando. What the hell am I going to do with that? 
probably be one combat point. <laughs> I'll send them to China. Oh, they're Marine. That's what they call commandos. Why don't you call them Marines, dummies? That's what it is. Well, I get the Hornet for the U.S. now. Actually, it's the Hornet too. Not the Hornet. Put him in Frisco. Okay, nobody else is probably going to be getting nothing because nobody else has any production points. All right, for the heck of it, let's look at ships lost. Yeah, look at it. See how many carriers the Japanese had lost. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve to one. Twelve. Well, I'm sure I lost two. It says twelve to one, but that's pretty much the Japanese carrier force. They might have a couple more, but that's it. Now for ships, the battleships and battle cruisers, I think they had eight battleships and four battle cruisers. That's 12. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All of them sunk. All right. That's pretty overwhelming. Let's go to another turn. And I've got to get my ships back to Namia. And I guess I just leave the Marines there to starve. Yeah, that's the American way. Just say, oh, too bad, boys. We can't really uh, extricate you because the rules don't allow it. So you just starve to death. That's fine. Dumb game. Well, that was pretty quick. Yeah, Marina has no supply. No kidding. Uh, now we're going to have heavy rain, so I won't be able to do anything. Okay, okay, okay. Ah, uh, oh, Jesus! The Japanese sh have shown up uh, again here. He's got one carrier. It's one ship. You can blockade with one ship. Oh, uh, guess what's going to happen to that sucker? It's clear everywhere. He must have a death wish. Okay. Oh, yeah, I know these guys are there. Oh, shit. Did I leave that guy there? I guess so. All right, let's do first things first. We'll take the Hornet. We'll send him to Hawaii. Then we'll find this other one that's sitting out there, right there. Oh, it's a Franklin and oh shit, it's a Franklin and the second core. God damn it, I can't find room for these. Now, do I have a Nomia? Oh, I have no infantry. Okay, so that's good. We'll send them there for the moment. No, that's probably not a good idea. We'll split them up. We'll send the second core and we'll put them Esperia Santo. And we'll land them. And we'll take the Franklin and send them to Namia. Okay. Come on. That's another flaw in the game. You can't get rid of that movement. Okay, now let's take care of China.
Let's turn on supply and I'm um, good. Oh, what's this one doing there? 701, we'll attack it. Boom, kicked him out. Don't diss us like that. Just like waving a red flag. Okay. Uh, see, now we're going to have a real tough defense here. Because I can't, I won't be able to get over this river. Well, my supply will be terrible there, probably. So one thing we're going to do is we're going to bring a unit down there. to cut them off. Grab that air base. You'll be out of supply for a while, but can't see what this terrain is like, but it's going to be shitty. One to three, one to three. Uh, okay. We'll see what we can do there. Put the army out there. Move this guy down. Then, whoops, these subs are at 100%. Oh, no, 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 it's premature taking those out. We don't have them surrounded yet. What's the range of him? Six, one, two, three, four. Okay, let's attack him. Maybe we'll get lucky and get a hit. Okay, shut off this supply. Now, this guy out here is another British Corps. Oh, shit. I put that guy here. I should not have done that. That's where this guy has to land. No, 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 what am I saying? What am I saying? He can land in Rangoon now, can't he? Yes, he can. here. 
Oh, look at that Manila. It's a nine. Gospy is only a two. One. Three. Okay. So, we got the jet. What's left of the Japanese fleet here? And we're going to go after it. Oh, Christ, it disappeared in a puff of smoke. Really? Naval airstrike. It was a CVE there, and it went poof, just one ship. All right. Six to one. We'll do it. Seven to one. We'll do it. That's it. Shit. Well, how come these guys can't go back? Now, this is a new turn. Are they locked in? Till they what? Fucking starve? Got two Marines there. I have no idea, but it's a 1 1. Who's attacking? I do not get what's going on here. Are the ships locked in place? Jesus Christ, what a game. Yeah, the subs can move, but these ships cannot move. They're at 10%, for Christ's sake. They got to stay there until they disappear? Oh, this is screwed. This is the screwiest game ever. Everybody's locked in there. Nobody can move. Do I have to move one ship at a time? Nope. Doesn't matter what you do. They're selected, but they can't move. Christ. There's another screwy thing. Hope I can remember all this dumb shit. All right. British 167. Well, they can build some. Well, they probably should build a couple oilers. And then they'll build some supply trucks. U.S. I've well, got 11 Oilers. I suppose I could use some more. So who knows how long I'll be stationary. Jesus. I've got a shitload of supply trucks. I don't need that anymore. My merchant marine is okay. I suppose I could build another one of those. Uh, Army. Infantry Corps large. If my fleet survives, I'd like to invade Japan. I can't. I've got, I don't have enough points. I'll have to wait. Soviets, 481. Armor Corps. Uh, 468, good. I like Red Star Tank. What the hell does that mean? Let's 
Sounds like a goofy. I'll build another one. Okay. Take anybody else. Australians, who cares about them? Communist China, they don't have enough yet. Okay, let's see who gets anything. Nobody this time around. All right, I'm interested to see what's going to happen with these ships, if they're just going to sink. <clears throat> I swear. This game will give you an ulcer. Okay, no, I can't stand it. I've got to go down the truck. See what the hell's going down there. Jesus Christ, he's disappeared. My, I guess the subs starved him out. Christ, I finally got the island. It doesn't make any sense at all. Maybe it does. Who knows? Jesus H. Christ. I got it. Okay, with the first Marines. I actually don't want them there. They're weak. Well, the six Marines aren't much better. Okay, I've got to, well, we've got to go. I'll watch them invade and take it back. What the hell? Come on. Those carriers are going to have to rest up for a while. God damn it. No. I need to swap those Marines out at the earliest opportunity. Like next turn. Let's see how many carriers I've got. Let's see. Is anybody around here? Got some unknown ships. Well, what I'm going to do Come on, god damn it. Tennessee. Jesus, these are. Their effectiveness is down to nothing. Why is that? It's 10%. Is oh, that because it's raining out? Shit. God damn it. I have two Marines here. What the hell am I going to do with them? New Caledonia. 
I can land one, I guess. No, I can't. Shit. I can't land the Marines, which means their effectiveness is going to go down. My ships... 10% carrier planes. No, 10% effectiveness. My carriers are worthless. Why have all my battleships fallen to my overloading the port? Maybe. So let's see. God damn, I can't even select these ships. And to move, I'd like to move all these ships out of here. All the surface ships. I can't do it. What the hell's the matter with this game? Well, I can move the submarines, but nobody else. Christ. It's one thing after another, I swear. Okay. Because I want to. Put it right on the invasion hex. I want to move something up there, but I can't. Come on, goddammit. Shit. I hate the quirks in this game. Okay, wait. Do I have a ship somewhere else? Oh. No, I can't combine subs. Get subs. Are we set for fleet action? Yes. All right. We're over an hour. I'm going to take the rest of my turn later. I want to send this first core up there. Maybe I can do that. Who knows? This game is really fucked up. All right. Let's save it.